Hey, this is Kirsten again. So this image was sent in to me um, about this pesky glass glare here. Um, so I just have to, I'm just going to give you my um, PSA up on my soapbox for a second and you can take it or leave it. So because of digital cameras and you can look at the back of your screen, when you click a picture and you look and you see glass glare, there's going to be glass glare. So deal with it before you walk away. One thing you can do is you can have the person take their hand, say, don't move your head, take your glasses off, click the camera again, put the glasses on, click the camera again, take them off, click, on, click. And then you can merge the eyes into, um, you know, put the, put the no glass glare eye into the glass frame, if that makes sense. Okay, so anyway, so do that. So you can see that there's glass glare before you walked away. So, you know, next time I can also see like a laundry basket. <laughs> so, um, so next time, um, you know, try feathering your light, angling your head, bring the light higher. You know, there's things that you can do um, to avoid this because it's a real pain in the bum. Okay, so what we're going to do is do the quick select. And I'm just going to quick select this um, whatever it is, <laughs> triangle, I don't know, whatever it is. And then I'm gonna go select, modify, and expand. And we wanna expand by like three pixels just so it's a little bit bigger than the white. Let's see if that's enough. Okay, well that made it a little too big, so hang on a second. So we're gonna go select, modify, contract, and let's contract by one. We want it to be just slightly over. There we go, perfect. Then we're gonna go edit, and then the new content to wear fill. So don't hit backspace or delete or whatever. We want to go to the edit menu and do content aware fill. Okay, so it's usually a hot mess when you're first um, having a go. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell it, please don't sample from the eyeball. All right, so that looks better already, right? And then we can say, uh, you know, you don't need to sample from up here because the that already looks great. Oh, that looks even better. Okay, sweet. Um, we can say stay away from the frame. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. And that looks even better, actually. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit hit OK. Um, I think it's Control D is deselect. OK, well, of course, it made it look a little bit weird, the outline. So anyway, that's fine. Let's put a mask. And then get a black brush. So hang on. Hit X to make it black. Put the opacity. Whoops. Maybe we want a white brush. Oh, so it's not going to. Ah, so I, I probably should have contracted a few more little notches. So, okay, so because because I did my boo-boo, that's fine. I'm gonna take that black and I'm gonna paint it off here because that was actually fine. Hit the X again to paint it back on where we want it and not on where we don't want it. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten it. And now I just need to get the clone tool. I'm gonna make it itty bitty. And I'm just going to get rid of some of the some of that funky line just to smooth it in a little bit you can also sample the crease but at least that gives us a really super awesome starting point and then you can see that I'm like literally like sample, paint, sample, paint, sample, paint. Oh, 
Okay, let's just get rid of... Don't remove the catch light. Catch lights are important. We want to keep that. But I'm just going to clean up some of the other stuff. Some of the other little glare. Um, so some of the glare is actually, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger with the bracket key, the right bracket key. Um, so some of the glare doesn't bother me at all because it looks like glass glare, like just normal stuff. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lower the opacity to like 45. Now keep in mind, this is a low resolution image because I just grabbed it off of Facebook. It's not the raw file or anything. Okay, so we're just going to kind of do a little blend stuff. Okay, that looks really good to me. Um, you know what, I might try to lighten this up a little bit. So one thing I could do, I can do the clone on the lighten mode, keep it at 45, I guess. Oh, my cat just knocked something over. I could, I could hear that. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to leave that. We're going to move over here. Okay, I'm going to use the Band-Aid. I usually get rid of the bifocal line. All right, I'm just going to click, I'm going to get rid of the, okay, and now I'm going to get the clone, but I want it on just the normal, I'm going to keep it on 60, I think. Gosh, my cat's now in my lap. Okay, so one trick we can try to do, um, although the angle of your head, it might not work. I was going to clone one eye onto the other eye. But you know what? I don't think that'll, I don't think that'll work. But let's just give it a try. Okay, so I am going to take the lasso right here. And let's just do the normal fold of your eye. Like that. On the inside, right click and do layer via copy. Then go edit, transform, flip horizontal, get the move tool. Lower the opacity over here. Oh my gosh, my cat, ah, go away. Lower it so you can see both. And then actually, you know what I should have done is got more skin underneath the eye. We're going to do that again. Hang on. So I'm going to get rid of that. Let's go back to the lasso. I feel like I should have gotten more skin under there. There we go. Now right click, um, layer via copy, edit, transform, flip horizontal. There we 
go. Lower the opacity. Now, one thing I do sometimes is I take the shift, I hold the shift down, and then make sure each piece, as you can see that lines up right there, that lines up right there. Okay, now what I do is, see this side is way lighter than this side, so that's going to be an issue, but I hold the Alt key and then press the layer mask, so that hides what we just did. Let's get a white brush, and let's put the opacity at like 47, just for the heck of it. And we're just going to paint Oops, my arm just jerked. Let me just use the black to get rid of that. There we go. hit the black key and keep some of that original eye. All right, let me see how, and you know, y'all know my motto is like, good enough, but. All right, so that gets rid of a chunk of that. I'm just going to flatten it. I'm going to get the clone. I'm going to put it on lighten. Why isn't the brush size going bigger? And I'm just gonna, whoops. Just sample a little bit over here. Okay, so that's a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to get, get the Band-Aid again and just go and clean up the skin a little tiny bit. I'm not going to worry about the red. I'm just, whoops. You got a little blemish too there, kitty. I want a picture of me with my cats, but I got five of them. <laughs> I don't know how that would work. Okay, so that looks great. So now I actually have an action that I've had for probably 10 years. OSP Actions Bohemian Symphony Collection. OSP is Oso oh Posh. And they have a red, red face action that I love. Okay, so that selected. We want to get a white brush. So hit X, make sure it's on normal. I'm going to keep it at like 40%. And I'm just going to do little clicks, little, little clicks. And kind of paint it like this. Okay, I'm going to, I think that looks good. I'm going to go back into the action set that I used in the previous tutorial. 
the Pro Retouch by Totally Rad. I'm going to try, let's see, I don't think we really need the Magic Eraser. I think I'm going to try the Deep Blotch Medium. Let's just see what this does. If we like it, we like it. If we don't, we delete it. No big deal. Okay, so we're going to get a white brush. I'm going to go 100% up here. White brush. Let's make this a little bigger. So this kind of blends things together. I'll show you what it does when I'm done. Try to I avoid the natural creases. Nostrils. Okay, let me show you the before and after. So this is after, that's before, after. Then I like to lower the opacity down to like 70 something. 70, there we go. Let's just go ahead and flatten. Okay, that's looking good. Then I'm going to go filter and I'm going to do, I'm just going to run portraiture. I use the first eyedropper and I'll sample the skin. That way it doesn't touch her eyes. We don't want it to touch her eyes. And I'm going to hit and get a second sample. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. kind of gives it a little bit. I'm going to highlight the layer and I lower the opacity down to 68. I just think it looks more natural. I'm going to go ahead and flatten. So I just realized the catch lights were different. So I'm going to try using the, um, the Band-Aid. I'm going to use the bracket key to get real small. There we go. Now they're both the same. Kitty looks the same. Okay, good. Okay, then to go back to Oso oh Posh, they have one called Lovely Eyes that I also like. So I'm going to hit Lighten first. So I need a white brush on normal, 100%. And then I'm going to hit Contrast. I never whiten the eyes, almost never, because then it looks like fake. I don't like it. But for this one, I'm going to just give it, get a little bit up in there. And even though it's at 12, I'm going to lower it to 6. All right, I'm going to collapse this. I think it gives it just a little pop. All right. I think that looks I think that looks good. All right. I hope this helped.